Hello YouTubers, uh, Traz here, back with some more of my Factorio Mega Base. Last time we tested out this 1K science production facility. Um, notice we were running low on some space science. I've uh, done some improvements and I think it's time to do the real test. Uh, you know, first I just want to Somehow I hit alt. I just want to say, yeah, this this particular factory was not my design, uh, but I put together a lot of the support materials uh, for production of all the uh, iron and copper and batteries and stuff like that. Uh, although a few of them, like the circuits, were combinations of uh, smaller blueprints that I've made into giant blueprints. Uh, this thousand science per minute belt based factory I got off of Factorio Prints. Uh, it was made by Matt Perry. So credit where credit is due. Um, you know other I, you know this is like my green circuits. Well it's not my green circuits. Uh, it was a blueprint like from me here over to here and I just tiled them. They were tileable and then uh, built train stations in front of them and the uh, you know, station to load the contents into these trains uh, that yeah I did modify this uh, a bit because I uh, misread it originally I thought it said it used 2-8 trains but it was originally designed for 3-8 trains but I'm using nuclear fuel and the 2-8 trains get going quite fast enough for me so in fact I'm using uh, one four trains for the lower uh, use items uh, and uh, this lubricate uh, lubricant lubrication lubricant train wasn't here at all at first it just had a pipe uh, presumably going over to whatever lubricant supply uh, was originally used uh, I decided to train it in because why not uh, so my fix for our space science was I basically took this which is again a tweaked uh, blueprint off of Factorio prints uh, not only did I tweak it internally adding uh, a bit more smelting and a few more uh, <laughs> low density structures I can never remember what they're called low density structures and then I actually also added in a, a few more rocket control units production uh, I added some beacons and I flipped the whole thing around so that we have basically two factories supplying this uh, and with the beacons it can well build rockets quite quickly or at least the rocket parts quite quickly. Uh, so I took a blueprint from all of this including the train stacker and just copied it up here. Uh, took quite a well it took a while to build the longest thing was getting all the modules uh, I don't have a very strong well <laughs> I should say outside of this I don't have a strong uh, red circuit production uh, but this isn't set up to supply uh, my module production so it took quite a while to get all the modules built uh, well over an hour but the the factory itself was set up rather quickly uh, I mean well I, well, not that I somehow, I somehow have 11,000 construction robots. Uh, I figured out actually what was, why I have that many. I had at one point apparently set up a little requester chest sticking into a robo port like halfway across my factory and then had promptly forgot about it. Uh, yeah, this is the original one near the, my uranium patch. It was getting water from here. And then also from here, the new one 
I've ran both lines over to this little lake. Luckily, the radar just uncovered that momentarily. Uh, so I have a tank with some extra pumps to boost the flow. Uh, it should be fine. It actually doesn't even use a full pipe's worth of water, I don't think. Uh, as you can see, there's no materials. So let's get that all set up. Uh, all the trains are set up. I just have to turn them on and then put in one little patch of track and then they'll go and I hope that will then get us uh, to a rocket a minute which is what you need for a thousand science a minute because we need space science so that's all set up there's the brake and as soon as a robot comes yeah this um here here's my original setup for this uh rocket uh blueprint and then i had smelting for it but now we have uh you know smelters that are twice as fast as these so might as well use them uh this was originally labeled as a uh rocket per 10 minute blueprint uh, but with the additions I've I timed it at about six minutes I maybe six minutes and five seconds or at the latest largest uh, but I think with two of them together uh, it should be well under three minutes because you only need uh, one satellite so the extra production uh, that this one's not spending on a satellite goes to make this quicker and w with the amount of I mean this is 340% uh, faster so that's uh, well <laughs> it's more than the twice as fast rate that we were supplying it with materials so it should keep up well let's uh, Oh, come on. <laughs> well, uh, I did also, assumingly we are going to have bots coming from here and going over to here, so I added a row of uh, roboports so that they can recharge. Probably should have dropped down a uh, radar or two. That should be good. That will get delivered at some point. Um, so, had quite the cloud uh, from our last test of pollution. Uh, okay, here we go on the trains. We'll have to check in on the pollution. Yeah, so once this gets supplied up and uh, running, I'm going to start the test, or at least what I'm calling the test. Uh, and uh, bring out the big guns, literally, and run this 128,000 science artillery shell range research. Uh, now, I mean, if we're doing, I mean, that's, if we're doing a thousand a minute, uh, that's going to take quite a while, but it will be a good test. It'll take actually even longer if my updates per minute go down, or updates per second. <laughs> now, we got one last train leaving I probably um, should stick one more signal in there that should be 
plenty far back uh, so that a train will fit and we'll let the next train begin to pull out. So we got oil and yes <laughs> we have oil going into the correct spots this will probably be sucked dry pretty quick here's our steel iron iron it makes a lot good portion of it goes to make steel also I cut in half these uh, savings is now every 10 minutes so hopefully they won't interrupt the video as much and hopefully I won't get hit by a train Um, okay, you're good too. The oil does get pumped up and around. Uh, another oil train came in. Yeah, we have three trains for oil and two for everything else. Uh, just because the oil trains are going a lot further, they're actually... Well, the iron and copper are going over to the smelters that we have locally, uh, but the oil and also coal actually go out to the <laughs> fields and pick it up. I was wondering where our copper train was. How are we doing on... Oh, we have one coming back already. And now they're both coming back. Uh, while the coal does take a while, uh, it's really only used for plastic here. As far as I, you know, for the red circuits, so. The fact that it takes a train a while is okay because they're not used too quickly. I mean, the plastic actually also goes into these uh, low density structures as I looked up just a minute ago or a few minutes ago and as soon as we get a uh, coal train in which here we are now we should be uh, almost ready to go oh uh, I am now on I can't believe the UPSs went down by 10 just by stocking this up. Uh, yeah, so I am now on 16.25. Uh, it updated sometime today. Um, so uh, arms and side loading will now compress again like it used to. So that's... That's a good thing. <laughs> Uh, well, for one thing, let's uh, look at one of these smelting. It, it basically lets the arms, as long as there's a tiny gap, the arms can now put something in. It will stay bunched up, actually even smaller than normal, until the belt starts moving again, at which point it will expand to the normal size. Basically holding the lane up slightly to fit the new item in. Uh, so I think that means this will be a bit more efficient because the belts will be fully compressed uh, easier. Although that may affect <laughs> this operation here.
is uh, loading quite well. And the way it goes. Do you have any trains? No. <laughs> I was going to check if they we had any loading at the older style stations. Um, Alright, look at that. We're all backed up on uh, plates of both types. Oil and the coal is almost good. I'm gonna tell the train just to go so we can get the next full train in just so everything is even. It probably gets used from one side faster than the other. But this is telling me we should be all backed up on materials now. And you know what? It helps if. <laughs> uh, okay. Oil is pretty good. It's just about full. And I mean, this is probably unloading it just as quickly as it's being used. Uh, you get. It's not as quick to unload uh, in when the tanks are mostly full. There's something that uh, could be fixed. Uh, but by the time it is, let's get rid of that. This should be balanced here. sure why it isn't or I mean <laughs> I missed it I don't know how I missed it uh, obviously uh, uh, one side could theoretically well they should run at the same rate but obviously they're two different factories this one slightly different this one's making satellites where this one isn't so one may use a little more plastic than the other we should balance it so if you know one half of the train unloads before the other it doesn't cause problems because the train waits till it's fully empty. How are we doing here? Yeah, these are the unloaders that uh, came with this schematic, and well, while they work, they unload unevenly. <laughs> So like you'll wind up with like that box is nearly empty, but that one's like basically full. No, oh, you're gonna be you're twenty one percent the way to a rocket. So we'll wait till this gets it's not gonna launch a rocket, but it will get ready to launch a rocket, and then we will start our test. Uh, hopefully that will just take another minute or two. Uh, you're all pretty much backed up. And it's just the processing units that we're waiting on. Uh, I did mention last time about like adding an extra uh, factory or, or assembler or two. Uh, I, I didn't do that. It was close enough to being using all the available resources that it wouldn't have uh, really made a difference, I don't think. You see right now we're backed up, not backed up, but uh, blocked waiting for blue science. Uh, Blue science, blue circuits. Why aren't you running? Uh, you're waiting for red circuits. You have one. Oh. 
Yeah, the red circuits come up, around, around, and down. This you're the last to get red circuits. Uh, what's using all the red circuits? I, mean, I think they're pretty much exclusively used for the blue circuits. So copper wire isn't going far enough down. Yeah, look at that. I wonder if the change affected how <laughs> these put down copper wire, because I thought it used to be more of a steady stream, and now there's occasional gaps. Well, we'll have to see how things go. 61% there. Yeah, one of the uh, modifications I did is for this blueprint is I brought in a bit more uh, green circuits and plastic because they used to not be making it all the way down and we had a full belt of uh, wire. Uh, now it looks like the opposite is the problem. Yeah, you can see now that uh, You're getting more feeding in from the side of the uh, the opposite. <laughs> like in this case, it's the bottom of both of these will get pulled in occasionally, even if there's this uh, smallest of gaps where before you needed a gap big enough for a whole item to fit in. I can't set that, but I'm wondering if I made these, or maybe the back ones grab few. <laughs> Basically, the way it worked before is they would seem to alternate. One would go drop a, a, a few, and then this would drop a few, and they'd alternate uh, between picking up and dropping off. Uh, but that now that doesn't seem to be the case. At least at uh, well, I believe we're at twelve is the uh, largest grab bonus. Twelve. So I wonder if maybe like changing it to 8 for both would help um, that's uh, yeah zooming in helped with the well seemingly helped with the frames per second head over to rocket parking. That, that is another thing I did is add a few stations specifically for parking near things. Uh, unfortunately I don't have <laughs> one really close to the uh, 1000 science per second factory. Second minute. You can only imagine what kind of computer you'd need for a thousand science per second.
Oh. It's ready. Uh, let's see if we can just do this small tweak here. Uh, I'm going to tell you to use 8. And I'm going to tell you to use 8. How about I check that first? I can't tell if that's better or not. It does look a bit better. Uh, now the left side seems to have larger groups. Um, let's see if it makes it further. It's. Let's try that. Let's open this back up. We are at 382 rockets at the moment. Now it is able to keep up with this rate of production. You can see it's dropping back down to two every so often. Yeah, because if we make it small enough, it, it won't be able to keep up with production. Uh, not all of these are running, though, still. Yeah, you need four cables, and at least the ones on this side need two grabs from the uh, long-handed inserters. Was there two grabs in six sec two grabs in six seconds should definitely be possible. Well, uh, there's not much we can do about it now. We we're already here, so let's uh, let's start this. Um, I mean, this theoretically will take 128 minutes, which is like two hours. Um, so, <laughs> this video will probably continue, uh, you know, have a break in it at some point, and then continue when we're almost done. Let's head over though and see how things look. We're down about 10 updates per second, which actually isn't quite that bad. Let's hope no trains come. Looks like we're going full blast here. Uh, the other thing I did is la at the end of the last episode, uh, I stuck in two more requester chests here. 
Uh, we probably got launches while we we're. Uh... Uh, you're ready to go. We're at 5.5. Alright, so you're ready to go. All these are supposed to have a thousand. So we basically have a bit more of a buffer here. And let's, uh. That was a little off, but not too bad. But it looks like they're charging up here and... Oh, so we did have a launch here. And, and we're ready to launch again, even. This is, yeah, up near the power plant. So basically, yeah, the logistics system is set up, we're at 4.4 thousand space science that you can see down in the logistics storage system there in the bottom right, uh, just above my <laughs> armor and uh, armament inventory, 4.2. As soon as that hits 4.0, this inserter here will insert the satellite and we will launch. Now that, when that says 4.0 there, it's really like less than 4,100, but not exactly 4,000, I guess. Um, should go... No. Are you still building the satellite? Was I not aware of that? Oh, here we... <laughs> it takes a little bit. So we probably also have this one launch as well. There we go. Um, not you. Over here, just launched as well. Yeah. So we had and your yeah, all four just launched. You see, we're already twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 17, 18, 20, 22, 25, 31 percent, and it's still unloading the science here. Fifty percent. Seventy-five percent. Ninety percent. And we're at six point four thousand, so I think we can do a thousand space science a minute. We're now just wheel the rocket up and it is ready to launch. Now, this launch would theoretically just be this launch. <laughs> this rocket and this rocket. Uh, this rocket here is at 42. And this one should be as well. 44. Yeah, it probably just made one more. Uh, so I'm going to say a cautionary yes. That we will be able to keep it up. These 
these over here are 900, 600, 200, and 600. So it looks like the one side is used a bit more than the other. And of course the ones in the back are going to empty a little faster, but any gaps they leave, the ones in the front will fill. Yeah, let's... Now as long as we can continue supplying materials at a fast enough rate, we're good. Uh, of course that's what this whole test is about. <laughs> uh, Yeah, there's not even a train here, and uh, that's basically full. And this one is full. That one is full. You're completely full. And after the save. <laughs> Um, where are we getting our copper from? <laughs> Apparently, not using much at the moment. It's still, I mean, we're probably still... The trains were backed up here, so we haven't really probably ran through a full train yet. How is our... Yeah, even our purple science is backed up. Purple science. Purple circuits, blue circuits, whatever. Uh, yeah, so we probably haven't really dug into having everything run right now. Uh, let's look at our production. And I'm going to stick it... We're doing a hundred thousand a minute copper wire, uh, ten thousand a minute plastic. Our iron and copper ore are at forty and thirty. Our plates are at sixty and forty. Um, the thing is, I don't have any modules at all on the smelters and that's something uh, if this succeeds I'll actually look into uh, so theoretically these should be the same uh, but I'm betting we don't have all the trains going and picking up our ore at the moment because hey we saw most of the uh, smelters were just not you know almost full and nothing was being picked up at the moment the real question is, how is our science? And uh, we're okay. Yeah, this one is using military. Our space science is at 1.7 per minute production, which is great. That's much more than we need. Uh, military, uh, of course, that is going to fluctuate. Um, it, you know, it actually may be that spike there. It will spike up and down because it only comes when there's a rocket launch. The rest should be even. I think, though, that uh, at least right now, uh, for this particular research, it's the uh, purple science that isn't used. It's using military. I kind of wish there was one that did use all of them, and that will not let. Uh, not to say that uh, robot count. Is pointless, but <laughs> it doesn't grow quickly. Uh, this one does grow quickly. Um, everything else. This does grow quickly, but doesn't have purple. Uh, Yeah, this, again, th alright, this grows quickly, but doesn't have military. Uh, right, let's get out of that so everything continues running. Alright, we got 
new iron train here. Alright, it is going. Um, I think I'm gonna cut here. Oh, how's our power? That's the other thing I wanted to check out. Power, not production. That uh, needs clicking on. It's probably a button for it somewhere, but. 4.7 gigawatts. I did notice. Yeah. <laughs> that our accumulators. Uh, so we're, we're using accumulators. And then as soon as it gets to a certain level, we kick on another uh, nuclear power plant. But then that's enough to charge it up. Uh, if it wasn't dark out, I'd... Well... It's likely this plant. Yeah, you can see no steam. And then at some point... Oh, there we go. Steam. This one is probably off. Yeah, so this is a 1.7 gigawatt. Uh, this is, well, 4 gigawatt. It's technically 3.95, but I, like, these... If there isn't steam stored, is 3.95. With these last row of uh, steam turbines only being used uh, one-sixth, basically they have a... You can see down in the bottom right, it says fluid consumption 60 out of 60. Uh, if there's no storage steam, they can only do 10 out of 60 because that uses, that would then use up all the production of these 10 boilers or heat exchangers. But with storage steam, uh, the, it can use up some of the storage steam. The thing is, you can see these are down to 5,000. Uh, in fact, even less at some point. So this is going to run out of steam, and then this will be a 3.95 gigawatt power plant, uh, which is basically, yeah, it can burst to 4.1, but over the long haul, if it's being used at 100%, it's 3.95. Everything looks good here. Um, where are you guys coming from? Anyway, the interesting thing will be when this research is done, uh, because our artillery range will increase by, was it 10 percent? 30 percent. That means a whole lot more biter bases will be in range. So that'll be something to see. Um, so we're about 15 minutes into the test and uh, like I said theoretically this is a two hour test um, so I will see you in a bit um, <laughs> so see you then Well, uh, about an hour into the test now, and uh, things aren't going as well as I had hoped. Um, power, using, well, at the moment, 5 gigawatt, 5.4 gigawatts. <laughs> uh, had a little issue with... Uh, UPS is going to drop now. The steam apparently is. Yeah. Been holding okay at about, uh, well, 35 to 40, uh, depending on what's on screen. The steam doesn't seem to help. Uh, but apparently, I had this set to kick on emergency mode if we were low on steam and the accumulator dropped below. 95% and apparently there's a fraction of a second here uh, where this was kicking in uh, as it was trying to start the next round because uh, steam is low and power was dropping below 95% it still is uh, 
unfortunately, the way <laughs> the way this normally works is when this reaches the last second, the last half second of the last second, uh, we tell the arms to move, and that works great for both the ones grabbing out of the chest and the ones that are grabbing off the belt. Emergency mode, though, literally for a single frame, maybe two frames, sends out the grab signal. And that apparently works for the ones with grabbing out of a chest, but for the ones grabbing out of the belt, I guess it takes them, like they're not immediately ready to grab, they gotta move a little, and by the time they're ready to grab, the signal's gone, and so they don't. And so the center six reactors here were shutting off, or, or at least they were not getting fuel. Um, and that reduces by quite a bit the output of this. Uh, I've now fixed it. It's coming back up to temperature. Uh, so, as it does... If, I'm not sure at what... I mean, these are... 500 I don't think produces steam, but anything above does. So as as the the heat, you know, we should be, I think the steady state is about 800, 820 degrees, something like that. So as these reach temperature, uh, we should be good. The other slight problem is this. Let's put it on 10 minutes. Ooh. Yeah, um, we're not keeping up on space science. All the others are good. Uh, we're still theoretically consuming at 1.1 thousand a minute. It's just, hey, we're only producing... Well, we were holding about 850. It looks like we've dropped now. Uh, so I'm building another rocket factory, or at least trying to. Um, I want to, obviously... Uh, I mean, here's the science production. I want to keep it close. Uh, we have one here, we have one here, we have one here. This is the, you know, the slower original one. Here's a, my second slower original one. This is, this is quite the distance for the boss to travel. So I'm like, well, maybe right here next to the power plant. The only problem is there's a lake in the way. Uh, so it's been taking a while to get uh, the landfill from bots, uh, but I've started filling in the lake. I'm actually going to leave a little bit of it to be our water source, um, but this will definitely get us above the thousand uh, science or space science at least. Uh, I also placed a few radars because, as you can see. Uh, I didn't have full coverage at the time uh, of original place it, but it I managed to stick it in a good spot. I really hope. Why are you stopped? Oh, look at that! I caused a mini deadlock here by putting that down. It's stopped on that train. Oops. Let's let's go fix that. But. Uh, that's basically this update. Uh, UPSs are down. Space science is not quite where I want it. And I've caused a deadlock. Well, yeah. Um, hopefully that hasn't... Doesn't look like it's existed long because... I mean... There's not a whole ton of trains. I have been periodically scanning for deadlocks. Um, I actually found there was a basically issue with this. Um, yeah, that l wasn't there, so the trains were actually coming over here, blocking the northbound uh, branch of this intersection. This is now redundant. Uh, I just want to pull out the one, so the trains are forced to not go here, because that was slowing down everything, or, well, some of that intersection. There was a bit of a backup here for a bit. 
Yeah, uh, so that's the update. I don't see any other train issues as I notice a train issue. This will clear, hopefully. It's not really deadlocked, it's just slow. I really... I should force the trains to come up this way and they all want to take the shortcut. Oh come on, I turned you off. There we go. Lock him in there. Alright, you're thinking your way around. Yeah, so now they have to come up here and then go this way. And that should be better uh, rather than waiting and backing up a whole bunch of trains. Where are you going? Well, you're probably going that way. I. Again, this I should. For <laughs> I thought I did force that to be. Uh, they should come down here and go that way rather than weeding. Let's see what this train does when that's removed. Alright, now he's. In fact, they should be taking this way. I can't actually do that though. And that way they're not sharing this piece of track. I can do that, but uh... Yeah, see this guy's got the right idea. Why are... Hey, you're trying to turn down this way to go to this oil station, aren't you? Alright, well, I only wanted this to be a quick update. Yeah, now these guys will go out, these guys will go in. A little more organized, hopefully. Ten minutes. I mean, I can kick on an hour. You can see doing well at first, but oh yeah, we've oh, our consumption is down because I'm sure we now reach the point that we're completely out of space science. Uh, if only I had. You're a, you're not in a logistics. Well, yeah. I'll finish this uh, hopefully before this research finishes. Well, See it's uh, about two hours real time now since the test started. And yeah. Uh, we're still constructing this. Um, the lower half basically could run. Uh, obviously, it's missing uh, beacons and a lot of modules, but I believe all the materials or you know the belts and factories are all there. The top half missing quite a few belts. Uh, belt production apparently not quite up to what it really should be. Um, but I think I'm gonna turn this on after I fix some other issues. Uh, for the last hour of game time yeah uh, declining average uh, production wise we're about a thousand on all except the space um, 
consumption, hey, we're, we're right on there. Um, problem is, we got problems. <laughs> this would definitely help the space science. I, that would completely solve the space science issue. The other issue is, or the train network is not, was not designed for the amount of traffic it's getting now. Um, basically, it looks like I have a deadlock. Uh, this train is trying to get in. There's no room for it to wait. Uh, and because of that, it's blocking traffic. Uh, because it's blocking traffic, we can't get our trains in. Uh, so I am going to run over there. Where would... Uh, defense 16. Where is... <laughs> where did I leave my train? My train could be... Uh, causing problems wherever I parked it. Where... When I say my train, I'm... Oh. Rocket parking. That's not a bad place for it. Where am I? There's rocket parking. I am here. Um... Let's run over to the train as soon as we save. See, we have quite a large number of rockets at this point. I don't recall. We're not quite at 100 rockets yet, I don't think. <laughs> Even with four legs, it's not that quick. Uh, doesn't help that the updates per second are about 35. Get off the corner there. Get off the track. This is an active railway. I mean, I knew the updates per second were going to be too much for my computer. Um, but I was hoping, like, adjusted, we'd be able to keep up. Uh, like... Oh, and it's a yellow. Here comes a train. Uh, we're not completely blocked. That one lane there is stopped up, and we've got a quite a, you know, basically that smelter is down. Um, where are we going? Uh, defend. Oh, okay. I put in. Yeah, that helped a little. I did s slap down some. Uh, signals and apparently they were just placed but uh, I really need to back this train up and have it go around or, or go to another smelter uh, defense 16 looks good Yeah, so, basically I should have, <laughs> instead of building this around my current base, I should have made a new area with a much better streamlined rail system. Uh, instead of, like, using a rail system that was designed for five long trains to start taking ten long trains. Which is <laughs> what I did. Uh, but I wanted to attempt to adapt. Uh, it's I, I probably really should redesign some of these uh, intersections, like this one here is a mess. Uh, but I wanted to see how far I could take my current infrastructure. At least, 
I have redundancy, so like when that path did get blocked, well, like those trains are not going anywhere, but the other trains are using this path or the path much further north to get around. And of course, there's trees here. Let's go around the trees. And. I should really see. You know, I'm playing in vanilla. I really should see, though, <laughs> if there's a way to uh, adjust how dark the darkness is without using a mod or something. It's not being. Oh. Yeah, I don't want solar panels to work. Did it clear itself out? <laughs> Apparently, the train it finally got enough. Yes, I could have done that as well. I could have just clicked on the train and told it to go. Because that is something I have been doing for a few spots. Like, Iron Four has been fun. There's nowhere if we. Apparently, I have at least two trains coming here. Let's. Let's, let's find out. I have three trains coming here. In fact, here's one now. Uh, Iron Depot. Are you Iron Depot? Iron 5 is running out as well. Iron 5 is running out as well. Um, the problem here is, well, we got one train stopped. We have a second train waiting. Um, he just happens to be blocking everything. Uh, you're, you're gonna be back. But at least we'll be temporarily unblocked. There we go. That's temporarily unblocked. And now we have something going on here. Um, yeah. Not designed for the amount of traffic. Alright, this is un... it wasn't a complete deadlock, it was just a bottleneck. We are still still supplying everything, except apparently space science. Not that it isn't trying. Uh, let's yeah. You're causing. Looks like I'm going to need a <laughs> few more iron smelters. At least one, if not two. And I really need to figure out a better way. A way, because I'm not doing it. I'm letting the trains decide. But to have the trains alternate between these two stations. If anyone knows a good circuit... I'm sure there's something like you can do with the signals to like, okay, disable this signal, enable this one, or, yeah. I probably have to make that a regular signal. I've heard chains can't be hooked up, but I definitely know the normal rail cir signals can be hooked up with the circuit network. I just don't know how to tell if a train went by to alternate them. I'll have to play with it. Um, you're mostly full. Where are you? You're, you're going to science. Well, you're going half full to science. Science actually doesn't really care. Science just wants more iron. Alright, so now that one pulled in, and this one pulled in, and this one should pull in. You should be green circuits, because you're green. Uh, I've tried to color code the trains. 
there's just too many of them to remember all the colors. Like, yeah, uh, I don't know where he's from. Rocket, oh yeah, Rocket Four did in all purpley shades. That's a science guy. You're going back to science to drop off. It, yeah, the problem, the thing's back up because everybody's waiting to pick up stuff, but then because everybody backs up, they stop the materials, the you know, material train, the ores from getting where they need to go. And the base, yeah, it, I need more lines going. <laughs> it, it This should be, you know, two lines in each direction minimum for the amount of traffic it's getting. Uh, luckily, nothing out here seems to be bottlenecked. Or backed up, at least. I haven't really looked hard enough to see if there's bottlenecks, but it seems to be flowing. Nobody stopped and waiting like they are back here. Let's check on that productivity over the past hour of game time. And, uh, yeah, a bit under a thousand production and consumption at this point now. Um, yeah, probably need at least another iron smelter, maybe two. And this, you know, because a lot of the, cons well, at this point, a lot of the consumption is backed up on the space science because you can't, you need all of them to consume them. Um, let's just double check here. I mean, yeah, they're all backed up, so it, that's why the production is done. It, it's, we probably could if the space science was there, get over a thousand. All right, I will come back shortly before this finishes. All right, um, I th think this is it, or close to it. Uh, we're three hours and 25 minutes, actually just about to be three hours and 26 minutes from the start at my mark. Mark? <laughs> and yeah, we've had problems. Uh, iron. Definitely need two iron smelters. Uh, I just actually sent these trains back. We were only getting one train at a time from iron, and it would always stop here. So, blue science, we get uh, choked with basically no iron. Um, apparently... Even though there's the same number of lines, these aren't used quite as much, and only two of these lines are going to blue science. All the ones down here are going to blue science. And, uh, yeah, well, you can see it just... <laughs> all the chests were completely empty, uh, so we're choked on blue science. You can see that we're really close. Production has not been good. If I say 10 hours, you can see uh, there's a long period here where it was very low. I think it's averaging, well, yeah, 500-ish. Um, I, even though this is not complete, oh, it is building a rocket. That is cool. I finally got iron to it. Um, part of the problem is I sent these guys out. You know, I fixed the, I had a hole here. I sent them out. Uh, the problem, it, oh, I never even signaled this right. Problem is, I also had a hole here. So they went out, picked up stuff, and then blocked tracks. Blocked access to things. I've been having backups. Uh, here again. Um, yeah, I kind of like want to let the rocket ones... These are like from my original rocket. But... Uh, you are no longer going to iron four. You're going to twenty six. Sorry, it's kind of a trip. 
except that you're in the way now. Uh, you're going back. Yeah, and so they've been blocking things. You see, this guy's been blocking, or is currently blocking. But you're, you're for science. You got twenty-six thousand. That's better than nothing. I bet you're all clogged up too. Twenty-three is also. I should have put time limits on all these going to pick up iron. You know, full or you've been there a minute. You know, let other people get some turns. Like I said, another two iron smelters probably would solve this. Uh, hey, look, this is the giant steel smelter. All these trains are sitting here. I could have your 26 and 27 and 20, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 all go here. They're hardly being used. How can I tell? Pollution! <laughs> 27, 28, 26. You can see the ones that are being used are being used. 24, copper 20 is not being used. Iron, yeah, 29. 14, why? One of the. Th hey, we finished! Time to watch the fireworks. Uh, let's turn that off. One other thing that happened is. This train was going to coal 1. Coal 1 ran out. Uh, so that held up. Uh, you can still see. Alright. It, it still had like 60 or so blue factories and there was no red circuits being made. Okay, trailer shell range is finished. Now it's the fireworks because most of my trains have artillery on the back, at least my older ones. There's lots of... Uh, spider has been creeping in. Let's see how that works out. Kind of was expecting a few more shots. Did see some heading south from my main base. Uh, oh, yeah. Like you. Look at those UPS drop. We kept it about 35 for most of the uh, research, but I can see with the biters getting uh, shot at now, at least in some places. Like I said, uh, my early trains, all, basically all the ones that go to my main base or the first two rocket factories or the extra science, initial extra science, this guy, all have cannons on the end. But all the ones going to these smelters don't. And you can see uh, some shots out here. Here we go. Taking out some bases. Oh, that is a big ball of biters. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> I mean, this is not the first time I've done this. Obviously, this was a trilogy range seven. Let's get that to stop flashing. You can see all, all the places where I have the trains stop are all good and covered. Uh, one other thing I'll mention. <laughs> uh, while the, everything was running, I noticed this shut down. Um, it is on a mixed patch, and all my initial chests had filled up. So I came out here 
and basically copied that, pasted it down, got it going again. Um, unfortunately, I had parked my train over here. Uh, there was a train picking up oil, so it just stopped here. I went off. It started shooting. It got eaten, mostly. One car, so oh, actually one locomotive survived. So, yeah, look at that's drained again because. All right, you can go. All right, you're both science. How how much? Twenty thousand. Wish it was more. Twenty-seven. That's better. So hopefully these two trains they're both 1k science they'll pull in at the same time one will go one one will go to this first which is nearly full constantly because iron trains always go to that one first and then hopefully the other one which has the more iron will go here because hey now we're, we're running out on the top as well but we're done with the, uh, you know, you actually see the blues are beginning to build up. This will help. Um, that will get the space science up to a full uh, over a thousand per minute. We need, you know, I need to find places to put two more iron smelters that aren't too far away. I mean, I could probably put one in here, you know, hooked up to the track, just down. I need to redesign these because the way these are just like... <laughs> the copper ones, I'm using the train stacker, but I'd, you know, these I'm not. And two, three trains and it's, you know, blocking traffic. Um, so I, I need to design a train stacker for here. I mean, I could do parallel lines and have, you know, come in, then turn down a lane, come back, you know, do that for here and here, and then trains can stack up and not block traffic. You know, so probably two more. One will fit here. Uh, this is just some labs to... Uh, well, at one point, no, not one point. Hey, these still take uh, space science, so that was getting the uh, robots across. Say how many you, you launched? Eighty-six. You're ready to launch, and you've launched three hundred and twenty-two because for quite a while you were my only rocket. You launched 49, and you launched 34, and the newest one hasn't launched any, uh, but it's 33% of the way. Um, it's also lacking iron. <laughs> um, that calls it an episode, definitely. Uh, we've gone quite over, I believe. I mean... I don't actually have the lengths of all the clips, but I'm sure it's quite over. Uh, next time will be something different. Uh, still the same map. I have a diversion. Um, haven't tested it yet. That will be next time, and I'll explain what I built and how. Oh, it's just a copper train coming in, I think. He's getting, you know, they're both actually. For Rocket 3, you're for Space Science. This one has a half decent stacker. It can hold like five. But yeah, these three, and then there's problems.
like this. Hey, you're trying to turn it in. Look at that. Um, you got 20,000. That's enough for you. Yeah, so I was doing this not much, but a bit whenever I saw that there was uh, 31. Oh, that's practically full. You're just waiting on a, like another thousand. Not even. So, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.